Hello everybody and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today I am bringing you a video that a lot of you have been waiting for, so stick around. If you are new here, please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to show your support for all of these awesome Animal Crossing videos. So a lot of you may have found my channel through my original Tarantula or Scorpion Island videos on how to basically create Scorpion Island or Tarantula Island out of all of the different mystery islands. And if you've clicked on this video, I'm assuming that you're looking to do the same. I've been getting a lot of questions about this because a lot of people are under the assumption that Nintendo has nerfed this and has basically removed the ability to make Scorpion Island or Tarantula Island, which is not true. And also, now that we're in June, we're having quite an issue with fireflies. So pretty much the question that I'm getting asked the most is, what can I do now that there's fireflies? Because you can't prevent the fireflies from spawning and you can catch and release them, but it's really tanking the spawn rate of scorpions and tarantulas. So here is what I have to tell you. If you go to Bamboo Island, it's going to work the same as it always has. No lightning bugs, nothing. And if you do a little bit of research, you'll find out that these lightning bugs have the exact same spawn time as a scorpion or a tarantula, so 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. However, they spawn in the air only in areas that have fresh water. Since Bamboo Island does not have any fresh water or rivers or lakes or anything, it only has salt water from the ocean and the shoreline, there's not going to be any lightning bugs or fireflies that spawn in this area. Now the next part of that is if you go to the Spiral Island, and you guys know I don't suggest doing this on any tiered islands, only flat islands, which usually I recommend the Spiral Island for that, you'll still have the issues with the fireflies. But if you are there and it is raining, there will not be any fireflies. So essentially to make this work, you need to get to Bamboo Island or you need to get to the Spiral Island when it's raining. And I know, I know, somebody out there is thinking, well, there's mosquitoes. What do I do about the mosquitoes? Just like we did with the mole crickets, ignore them. Don't worry about the mosquitoes. There's one or two of them out there. You can catch them if you really want to. But honestly, it had no effect on my spawn rate. And actually, my spawn rate with the scorpions while I was doing this was absolutely insane. I mean, sometimes three or four were popping up on my screen at the same time. So if you're new to this whole process, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about how this works. Both scorpions and tarantulas are ground spawning bugs. They don't spawn in the flowers, they don't spawn in the trees, nothing like that. And there's not a lot of bugs that are ground spawning bugs. So the idea is that we are going to head out to Bamboo Island and you are going to need a bunch of shovels and a bunch of axes, and then we are going to clear the island. Once you clear the island, you can go ahead and drop any items you don't wish to take back with you over on the rocks on the side of the island. Just keep in mind, the bugs that are on these rocks will still spawn, so you will have to scare them away. Which brings me to my next point. After you've cleared the island, you want to go around and scare away any bugs that you find. This will make those bugs disappear and it allows for another bug to spawn. You'll just keep running around in circles until you find a scorpion. Now let me give you a really good tip that a lot of my subscribers let me in on and I actually didn't know this, believe it or not, so it is thanks to you guys that I've learned this. If you run around while you're not holding your bug net, the scorpions are not aggressive towards you. You can run right at them, you can walk over top of them, they don't even notice you until you have a bug net. This saved me in a lot of instances. So once I find one, I just take out the bug net and I catch it like I normally would. However, one thing you do want to be a little cautious of is once you take out the bug net, if you're a little too close to them, they're going to come after you when you take out that bug net. So make sure that you're still at a decent distance when you take out that bug net, otherwise they are going to come get you. But that is basically the gist of it. You want to clear the islands. As you can see, I left the flower plants and I just picked the flowers. This is so that no bugs or beetles or 
butterflies or anything can spawn on those, but nothing actually spawns directly onto the plant itself. And that's pretty much it. Just run around until you've caught enough scorpions or tarantulas if you're doing this in the south. And that is how this whole process works. So now that you know that this is still a viable option, even though we're still having the fireflies, let me know what you think. Are you going to be getting some Nook Mile tickets and heading out to Bamboo Island? Or are you going to start fishing for some sharks and making money that way? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you have any questions, leave those down below. If you have any other content suggestions or there's videos that you would like to see on my channel, definitely let me know. Guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.